Niger Diamonds, brought to you by Diamond, your bank. Hello folks, this is Niger Diamonds. My name is Devayo. I had the opportunity to get inspired firsthand by some of the most remarkable people doing great and commendable things across the country, inspiring and mentoring agents of change in their societies. Ebony Live TV, with the sponsorship of Diamond Bank, have gone through great lengths to bring these inspirational stories to the comfort of your living room. Enjoy as you watch. For every time that I had to cry about my daughter Beulah, it wasn't more of what people said. They wanted me to take a decision to cut my daughter's leg barely a month after she was born. We amputated the leg when she was two years and three months old because then we had to move on with life. I realized that a lot more people couldn't take that pain. My friends were there, my family was there, but some people wouldn't just have anybody there. And I just decided I was going to be that bridge and that link to put a smile on somebody else's face. My story is a very interesting one. I got married five years ago. And when I got married, just like everybody else that got married, you just believe that everything is going to work very fine to me. I got pregnant about six months after I got married and everything was fine up until the 13th of October, um, 2008. That was just a day before my birthday. And then I bled so much and they packed almost a paint full of blood and I was rushed to the hospital and the baby's life was threatened. When we did a scan, it was found out that the baby was fine. So just like, I mean, I didn't think there was any issue and I kept going for my regular checks and it was a very healthy pregnancy. As a matter of fact, I had my baby just on my due date. So I was um, excited, it was fantastic. But when I had the baby, I noticed something went wrong. Actually, the baby, that the baby was alive in the first place was a huge miracle. You see, because of the experience she had within the first three months of the pregnancy, where she bled so much, we actually thought we had lost, you know, the baby. And I was still wondering, and I was in the dark, as what was wrong with the baby. Because she looked very beautiful, and she is beautiful. And eventually, uh, my husband told me about her leg. So what happened was the leg was turned to the back. Um, we didn't know the medical implication of what it was, but we just knew that the leg was turned to the back. And that, even in itself, frightened us because we were like, so what next? And all of that. And we were asked to stay back in the hospital as a result of that, that we were going to see an orthopedic surgeon. We saw the orthopedic surgeon, and then he confirmed that she had a missing bone in her right leg, and also she had no patella. Um, that's the kneecap. We thought it was something that could easily be taken care of and then we had to be referred to the orthopedic hospital in Enugu. When we got there and did the x-ray, we even got more shocking news. And then we were told that we had to amputate the leg. You're taking my daughter's leg off. Like, you, it's cutting it. And you are telling me that no, you are not amputating her you are disarticulating her leg. Whatever you call it, there is no leg there. I was just imagining, she's going to go in with a leg, out with two legs, and come out with one leg. So my husband had to go in with her. And the most painful moment was when someone came out and said, would you like to have the leg? Then some people were of the view that we take the leg and go and bury it ourselves. But of course, we, it was going to be a lot of memories and then 
we just had to ask them to do whatever they normally do uh, with it. We waited a while and then she came out and she was saying, my daddy, my daddy. And that was just it. It was, um, it looked very different from the person that went in. Healing for us, I think, started even before the amputation. There were three kind of healings that needed to happen in our case. Zubi and I had to heal and understand what would go into. The family had to heal and Beulah had to heal. Not being able to make our decision on time about amputating Beulah was because also we had never seen anybody do it before. A lot more people were going through it and they couldn't. And then way back in Enugu, I knew a lot of people that were amputated about same time with Beulah, but had no prosthesis. And when you talked with the family, it was because they couldn't afford to pay for a prosthesis. Then I started thinking up, uh, working with a team of people, friends initially, to be able to give back, to be able to help talk to people that needed to make the decision, or to be able to just encourage someone and say it's okay to cry, and then just cry with the person, and to be able to also provide the processes for children that cannot afford it. So those were some of the things that started working in my mind as I started penning them down to see how I would go about it and um, just put a smile on somebody else's face. The Radio Foundation really tried for us. For they, they, gave me, they gave me courage. They really gave me, they gave me courage. I was born with what they call a congenital limb defects. His lower limbs didn't form properly while he was in the womb. So he was born with uh, just two fingers. He had to use a, a prosthesis. So I met a uh, Irede Foundation and I offered to give him a prosthesis. I am an ambassador and a counselor for, yes, fresh amputees and their caregivers. I chose Irede Foundation because I could buy into the whole idea of the foundation and I thought it was a very lofty one, one that um, I could, you know, be associated with. I lost my limb seven years ago when I was in my second year at the university. I was diagnosed with osteogenic sarcoma. It means cancer of the bone. I had to do away with my right limb. We've been able to do six limbs um, since the Irebide Foundation started and we've actually worked with five children. What we spend on average on one process is about 950,000 naira for each of the children that we work with. So for each limb, so if it's one limb, then it's 950. If it is two limbs, then it's going to be 950 times two. Um, we spent about um, 10 million on limbs and we're excited. Niger Diamonds, brought to you by Diamond, your bank.